This is Oluto Mole Agbaye, the Another Comforter Gospel Ministry, proclaiming message of the new glory of God on earth, myth, the truth, and the light, bringer of our time. King Oluto Mole Agbaye, the Another Comforter, whom Jesus Christ has promised and sent by the Father for the work of the restoration of all things according to the scriptures written and to prepare the way for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 3 verse 20 to 21. Happy view. I am all the time the Lord Comforter welcoming you into today's new episode about who Olu Tomole is. Is it God? Is it Jesus? My simple as an explanation to everyone that cares to know is that I am not God. I am not Jesus. I am simply the another comforter. Okay, I take my text from the book of John chapter 14 verse 16. I read from here. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Okay, we pray, you be Baba, or you see Queen Yolu to no mirror. And he shall give you another comforter. It means not me, Jesus. It's not referring to Jesus. But another divine person. Like Jesus. I'm explaining to you all what has been puzzling your heart, your mind, or troubling your heart. I want you to listen to me carefully and properly. Who is this under comforter? Well, it is interesting to understand that the word comforter is derived from the word Greek, from Greek word. The Greek word for another comforter is Paracletus. This means one called into the side of another for help or a counselor or an advocate. Just an advocate. Like if you have a problem now or court case, you get an advocate, a lawyer, who will help to plead your cause that you may not, will not end up in prison. You all know this things. So they are counselors, they are helpers in time of trouble, they are advocates. So that is the definition of a comforter if you want to know. The another comforter is a spirit of truth. So another comforter is the only hope the source of hope for our perishing world. Let me tell you straight. The another comforter is the embodiment of the seven spirits of God sent into all the world. Okay. Because Christ was the false advocate. Christ was the false Comforter. He has ascended into heaven. Now you find that there is untruth in the world. And Christ cannot descend into this confused world after he has been beaten, cheerfully treated, murdered, killed, buried in the ground. He cannot 
come back to come and teach truth. So Christ has to release his seven spirits with his own fullness of spirits. Upon the world. And these seven spirits have need of sanctified human body to operate through. Because the, the seven spirits released upon the world cannot just be flying about to fulfill the purpose of Christ on earth. I want to take you to Revelation chapter 5 and 6. And lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it has been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. These are the seven spirits of Christ. The fullness of seven spirits sent to all the world. So when the Spirit of God was to be sent into the world to serve and operate in place of Jesus who has ascended. Several spirits have to search the heart and mind of people in the world. He went and searched and searched and searched until he find someone just somebody Whose heart has been made to be a fit abiding place for God and Christ to dwell in. He found only Tomole Ebai. Then the seven spirits inhabited and took their abode in the body and heart of Ulutomole. I'm talking about the misery concerning the another comforter. Atinyari the spirit we are looking for somebody who had the clean heart. Who desires no earthly thing? Clean like Jesus' heart. Somebody who was not chasing the world. Somebody who was not seeking building, landed property, or wealth in the bank, or money in the bank. Because you can't have all these you know, desires, earthly desires in your heart. And expect the only thing from heaven to indwell or take his position in your heart. So this is the type of person that Christ changed his name and said, You are the another comforter. So our God read it. When I speak, the spirit will When I teach, it is the seven spirits of God sent to the world that is teaching you. When I guide, I call you, I guide you. I am fulfilling my mission. Because the Bible says, when another comforter comes, he will guide you into all truths. Now, I want to explain further. Some people are trying to compare the Holy Ghost of the day of Pentecost 
with the another comforter, seven spirits. On the day of Pentecost, the Spirit with God, the Holy Ghost that rested upon the people, were the spirits of the prophets. You say your souls will dream dreams. Your men will see visions. Your old men will prophesy. So it was the spirit of the prophets that descended up on the day of Pentecost upon the people. And if you turn your Bible to Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your son and your daughter shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. You see the word there is I will pour out of my spirit. That is infinitesimal portion of the wholesome spirit of God. And That was all that God released on the day of Pentecost upon all flesh. Part of the Spirit of God. You know, God has been releasing things in past. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 9 and 10, it says, Paul says, we know in parts. And we prophesy in parts. But when the, that which is perfect shall come, then that which is in parts shall come to an end. So the spirits of God were released in parts on the day of Pentecost. Now, but in these last days, it is the fullness of the Holy Ghost that, uh, that has now been released upon the world. It is the same Holy Ghost. People are asking, uh, it is the Holy Ghost that Christ is and you send to the world. How can a man be a Holy Ghost? Now, these seven spirits need a body a sanctified body not a corrupt body huh. to operate through and this is just the mystery of God this is the mystery of God which I want you all to understand so you will not walk or fall or abide in error in the world. all right so this Holy Spirit of God, which rested upon the people on the day of Pentecost, was just the infinitesimal portion of the great and fullness of God's holiness of God's spirit. But this same Holy Ghost, in the fullness of time, in order to uh, 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 you know overturn all the errors that have been spreading or been made to spread all over the world, you need fullness of God's spirit. Yeah, and this is what Christ has now released into the world, known as the another comforter. Our God reigneth! 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 All this became a reality on the 30th July 2015, just three years ago. It was sunny and by the amazing favor of God upon me, I am the other comforter for this age. Uh, now, primarily, the duty function of another comforter 
is to teach all truth and to restore all things before the second literal coming of Jesus for judgment. Well, you want to ask a question. Uh -uh. Christ has come and has ascended. What is the function? What is the errand or duty function of the another comforter? Do you want to know? You see, Christ himself he has spoken so much by himself. Because the spirit, the seven spirits of God now in the world emerged from Christ himself, the Lamb of God in the world. Now, I want to start to explain to you the work and function of another comforter. Well, number one, Jesus by his mouth had laid down as follows. Number one, a world teacher. He is to teach the world. All right? When you turn your Bible to John 14, 26, I read from here. Say, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your, to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Only I'm now using the Bible to explain to you. And it is Christ that has listed out the work and the responsibility of the another comfort in the world. So the another comforter is to be the all knowing spirit who will bring to remembrance all truths. Which Christ had taught his own generation, but which the world remember not, because the world forgets so soon. Now number two, the duty function of the world and other comfort is to be a prosecutor, to prosecute, right? According to John 16, verse 8, I read from here. It says, And when the comforter comes, he will show that the world is wrong about sin. He will convict the world of sin. He will reprove the world of sin and about righteousness and about judgment. That is, the comforter is to be a prosecutor of the world on sin, on judgment, and on righteousness. I just saw a share and share with you. Let me know what you see. Now, to convict means to tell one's fault. You know, in the world today, nobody wants to point to somebody's fault. Nobody can guide people into the right path. But the spirit of truth, the comforter, he will expose and bring to shame anyone that is reproved. You see, the spirit comforter will do all this in the place of Jesus, that is to rebuke the world of sin, sin of unbelief in the truth of Jesus, truth about the life of sacrifice of Jesus, truth about the doctrine of unity and love and oneness. It is the Spirit of God that will do that in in place of Jesus on earth. <laughs> Now, Jesus Christ will remain as a, another, uh, the, the comforter in heaven. The other comforter will remain the representative of Christ on earth, acting in the place of Christ on earth. 
You see, the Bible says, Christ will, is in heaven and treating God, visiting God on behalf of believers. So, the other comforter is on earth to beseech God, to entreat God, you see, an advocate, as an advocate for all that follow him on earth. All right. So the, the another comforter is the glory of Christ on earth. Is the image of Christ on earth. Just as Jesus was the glory of God on earth, he was the image of the Father on earth. How God reigned as somebody. Now, the function of the another comfort I want to tell you further is to be a guide. See what you see. Or to my J and to my J A guide. Amono. In the world. You see, there's so much confusion in the world. There's so much corruption in the world. There is so much conflict and all that in the world. So who is going to guide you? So you need another comforter. Now turn your Bible to John chapter 16 verse 12 and 13. I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them now. Verse 13. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, we guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Now. That is the work and district function of our, the another comforter. So you must understand this whole truth. Be bold to tell the world that according to Acts chapter 320, all prophecies, all time prophecy, how to be fulfilled. And the production of Christ Jesus who must be fulfilled. Otherwise, Christ will never come. And this is the reason for my mission in the world. Uh, now, Olutomale is the only one the whole world shall follow and obey my voice until death. Now, we are stopping here. But I want you to know the truth about your tomorrow. It's another comforter. The only need of every man and every nation and every home and every people follow me. Follow the truth. Follow the light. And you shall find salvation and eternal life. Don't just watch us. Please, friends and, and, and brethren, don't just watch us. I want you to join us. I have a little Another comforter sent to restore you to all truth. I bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Forever, forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.